So we have uh, uh, three probes, uh, the linear ones and the curved ones. So we have low frequency, microconvex. Uh, low frequency is three to five megahertz. Microconvex is five to eight and high frequency, which is six to 13, which is mostly suitable for uh, plural line analysis, pneumothorax, all right, uh, next. So these are the uh, probes. So this linear probe will be suitable mostly for superficial structures, uh, example vessels. And uh, this curved is used for everything, even cardiac, lung, abdomen. You can see everything through this curved one. Next, please. So these are the probe positions. We do it in longitudinal scan or in transverse scan. Next. So uh, what do we see in ultrasound chest? Air and water, okay? So uh, we all know that uh, lungs have both air also and water also. There is some pleural fluid. So we uh, find acoustic impedance. So what does ultrasound do? It uh, hits a large flat boundary between the two mediums with different impedances. Okay, so because fluid has a constant uh, impedance and does not have any echoes, so it appears black when you do an ultrasound. Uh, while uh, the soft tissue and air, it reflects its uh, interface, which is impenetrable to the ultrasound. So structures below the pleura um, cannot be visualized. So only artifacts can be seen. These artifacts, depending upon what they are, are useful in our diagnosis, as we'll see in further slides. Next, please. Now, this is our uh, image. This is what, if you put a ultrasound probe on the chest, this is how the lung looks like. Uh, this white line uh, is the skin. Then you can see the subcutaneous tissue, the ribs, and the pleura. Uh, please appreciate pleura is a constant line it's a continuous white line okay so 98 percent of the normal lung is air so you cannot see anything or you can only see artifacts uh, uh next please we'll uh, know more about it as we go further so uh, what are the points in favor of ultrasound doing an ultrasound in of chest in an icu it is easy and quick to be performed high diagnostic accuracy then the physical and examination of the chest radiograph example you have a small uh, pneumothorax you cannot appreciate it in physical examination if your patient is uh, bed bound you cannot just turn him there are many limitations in the icu so a small thing can be just uh, you know missed and ultrasound chest also it takes a lot of time unless and until it's a large one to appear on the chest x-ray Plus, uh, you, sometimes it happens that a patient is uh, obese or he has multiple dreams. You cannot uh, uh, toss and turn him. So the uh, kind of radiograph which you get is not adequate. So <coughs> by doing an ultrasound test, you can very well uh, diagnose uh, what the patient is suffering from. Plus, uh, it avoids ionizing radiation. So no risk so you can safely perform it in pregnant females also uh, plus it can guide you there and then only about the fluid management and the therapeutic procedures like if you want to do a chest uh, 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 drain insertion or you want to drain a hemothorax or a pneumothorax or a hydrothorax and pima anything like that you just need an ultrasound probe and you can guide it uh, guide your uh, uh, drain through it uh, by lowering the risk and uh, lower the risk of complications. Plus, it is a uh, quick to learn investigation. 
now it is being used as a point of care investigation it is uh, usually available in all the uh, hospitals which have good icus so how do you uh, position your probe so you see and at upper anterior point lower point uh, anterior point and posterior lateral points these are the points where you do ultrasound chest next please so we have already seen this one next can you uh, click on it? yeah so the top uh, line is the skin this is the subcutaneous tissue as you can see uh, the continuous line is the pleura then is the rib shadow then are the these are the a lines next please so there are a lines b lines so these are artifacts which means because in the uh, lungs you cannot uh, air doesn't have anything so you can only appreciate the artifacts which are there so these uh, uh, there are some lines which appear because of which we can diagnose what the patient is suffering from so these a lines they are the reverberation artifacts they are horizontal lines which are parallel to the pleural lines they are separated by regular intervals which are equal to the distance between the skin and the pleural line seen in normal aerated lung also plus if they are predominant a lines with lung sliding it can uh, you can see it in asthma or copd patients if you have predominant a lines but there is no sliding sliding happens only because of the pleura that means there is a pneumothorax see now this is the pleural line and below you can appreciate the a lines which are equidistant like that from skin and uh, the pleural line next please see this is a real time image these are the a lines which you may see in a normal or in a coad lung so normal lung sliding so uh, can you uh, switch on the video please just click on it okay, it's not getting here you are you were not able to play the videos all right doctor this is the thing i got like okay so uh, there were no videos in this no doctor this is the thing i could do it all right that is why i asked you before that if i could have mailed you they were very good to see all right not uh, not an issue next so this is uh, the lung slides will look like um, someone is you know sliding like if you put on your skates and you just slide so that no uh, that sliding sign means that your pleura is all good if it is absent it means there is a pneumothorax next please so uh, this is the pleura uh, and beneath the pleura uh, you get the lung so you get a c sand sign in the m mode if you um, put your ultrasound probe and then you click on the m mode this is what you will get in a normal lung above is the c below is the sand so this is a c sand sign that means there is no pneumothorax next please now here you can see there is no sand it's only c okay this is called stratosphere sign or a barcode sign we all have done shopping so we all know how a barcode work, looks like when they scan it so this is a barcode sign this means that pleura is not sliding so it's a sign of pneumothorax or fusion that means the pleura is not sliding uh, or it may be just stuck together which is very common in patients with pneumonia ards or in patients with pleurodesis or it can be absent like in patients who had already gone pneumectomy or who are on on one lung intubation or the love Uh, to 
play some videos but unfortunately they are not getting played here they were very good to look at and uh, next please so now we'll see the interstitial syndrome next please so in interstitial syndrome you have pulmonary edema interstitial pneumonia or pneumonitis and lung fibrosis so here the feature is b lines b line means they are the artifacts which are uh, generated because of the juxtaposition of the alveolar layer and the septal thickening which may be because of the fluid or because of the fibrosis next please so they arise from the b lines they are long vertical hyperechoic lines which continue to the depth of the image they look like just comet tails okay and they uh, when they are present you cannot see a lines and they move with the lung sliding if they are moving with lung sliding it means it is an see this is how they look like uh, unlike a lines which were parallel to the pleura and they were equally spaced so here you can see they are continuous and they are vertically placed and you cannot see any a line in between next please so this is how a b lines look like in uh, when you uh, see it in a real time image next please so the most common cause of b line is pulmonary edema uh septal b lines may be because of the interlobular septal thickenings ground glass b lines when uh ground glassing becomes very dense that means when edema is quite a lot it is more severe uh when uh, there is very severe edema like in severe ards so the b lines what uh happens is they all fuse together so you get a white out lung you are not able to appreciate anything uh must have seen in covid patients i guess all of you uh, next please so this is what uh it looks like a white out lung because of the interstitial a uh, next this is a lung pulse which uh, is just because it transmitted because of the heartbeat next no it won't play uh, so uh, we'll just do an algorithm for detection of pneumothorax now when you do an ultrasound lung you see whether lung is sliding or not if it is sliding it means there is no pneumothorax if it is not then concentrate whether you can appreciate b lines if yes then there is no pneumothorax if you cannot appreciate b lines uh look to the lung point if they are not there then it means uh, look for the lung pulse which is transmitted heart rate if it is there there is no pneumothorax if lung point is there then it means there is a pneumothorax or even if the lung point is not there but you are not able to appreciate lung pulse that means pneumothorax is there and there will be a lines next so this is loss of lung sliding so no barcode sign uh it's just the barcode sign no cis and sign next so this is so this is lung point this means you can see the uh, cis and sign in one uh, portion and it is not appreciable in the other so where it is not appreciable that means pneumothorax is there next now uh, there are something called e lines which is because of the subcutaneous emphysema so they are vertical uh, lines which are similar to b lines uh, they are uh, they but they arise from the skin not from the pleura so they can be differentiated from the b lines both are vertical but one arise from the pleural line and the other arise from the skin line the from, from the skin line is e line next next so consolidation air bronchogram uh, so you see usually eco 
poor areas beneath the pleura. You all can appreciate the white line, which is the pleura. And uh, uh, you can see the perilesional B lines or comets to the far margins. So, and plus also you can distinguish, distinguishly see the um, margins, which are compact. So these white, white things along with some air is the consolidation. Next. The previous one, please. So this is uh, alveolar sign, alveolar syndrome consolidation. So uh, the liver, uh, what is, uh, we all have studied in our pathology that uh, the consolidation, uh, it looks like hepatization. There is a one stage where it is, just looks like just liver. So when the lung is highly fluid filled, it resembles liver in ecogenicity because it is also becoming hepatized. So extensive consolidation uh, can be seen, uh, which is sometimes accompanied with pleural effusion. So just above the IVC, you can appreciate some, uh, between IVC and lung, this white, uh, this black uh, uh, area, that's, uh, that is the pleural effusion. Next. Uh, shred sign will just skip next. So uh, air fluid bronchogram. So what are air fluid bronchograms? Air, uh, air appears white while the fluid fluid uh, bronchograms are black. So you, uh, please click on the next uh, the slide. We'll get a picture, yeah. So uh, this white thing is the air and uh, this uh, black thing is the fluid. So they are specifically air fluid bronchogram means that it is because of the pneumonia. Air bronchogram, which moves with the respiration, so it excludes bronchial obstruction. It means air is going in. So it helps in distinguishing between consolidation and atelectasis. If there is no air bronchogram, it means atelectasis is more likely. If there is dynamic air bronchogram, then it means it's pneumonia. Because pneumonia has both air and fluid. Atelectasis means that the, uh, there is no air. It's just passive collapse. So the treatment of both uh, is different. So that is why you need to differentiate between the two. Next, please. So... Uh, skip this slide, please. Now, pleural effusion, very common in ICU. So, uh, on an ultrasound, the sensitivity and specificity is around 100%. On ultrasound, you can reveal septations, which can help you distinguish whether it's a transduate or exudate, because the treatment modality for both are different. Uh, because effusions, they are fluid, they are dependent, so they are usually caudal and posterior in the ICU patient. So you have to move your patient and look posteriorly to make the best window. They are easily identified between the diaphragm and the lung posterior laterally. And the lung usually floats on the effusion, which is the differentiating sign that this is lung and not the liver. Next, please. Next, please. So this is an effusion. You can all differentiate uh, liver, then the diaphragm, free floating lung uh, would have looked very nice in the video. So the lung was just because of the nature of the effusion, which is quite large, the lung was totally freely floating in that effusion. Okay. And uh, it is totally on all sides surrounded by the uh, effusion. Next. Uh, so, uh, differentiation between transduate and exudate. So, uh, jo, uh, an anechoic effusion may be transduate or exudate or acute hemothorax. But a uh, effusion which has echoic shadows in it, 
signify exudate or a subacute hemothorax because of the blood clotting. Septated effusion is usually the result of inflammation, so it is always an exudate. Next, please. Now, thoracocentesis. Now, uh, why do you want to do thoracocentesis with the help of ultrasound guide, guidance? To decrease the complications and improve the fluid collection rates because you can see which is the most, uh, which is the area where you can have maximum yield. So you can take out the fluid in a uh, better way rather than blindly. Uh, plus the potential hazard of diaphragm or pleural adherence, it can be avoided. Next, please. Now, uh, these are uh, some blue and false protocol, which is being used as uh, in critically ill patients as lung ultrasound. So just to complete it, uh, if your lung sliding is present and you have B profile, that means you have pulmonary edema. But if you don't have B profile, you have only A profile and uh, you see thrombose vein, then it is pulmonary embolism. If you do not see it, then uh, could be pneumonia or COPD or asthma. If you see lung sliding, but any of this profile, it means it could be pneumonia. If lung sliding is not there, but B profile is present, that means it's pneumonia. But if the lung sliding is not present and A profile is present, plus there is lung point, that means it's pneumothorax. If it is not uh, having lung point, then you need other diagnostic modalities in the form of CTs. All right. Next, this is the blue protocol. Uh, this is a false protocol, which we have already discussed that how uh, similar to that of uh, blue protocol only. Some follow that protocol, some follow this protocol. So it's entirely up to you, which protocol do you want to follow? Now coming to the ultrasound abdomen. Next, please. Uh, so, uh, we all know we do a fast scan in patients uh, who are uh, of trauma in uh, ER and in uh, uh, ICUs, which is focused abdominal sonography in trauma. So, these are the uh, next piece. Uh, these are the areas where we see uh, the standard uh, views are the subzephoid or subcostal, where you look for pericardium. In right upper quadrant, you look for Morrison's pouch. In pelvis, you see the pouch of Douglas. In left upper quadrant, you, uh, you see splenorenal and perisplenic areas. Extended E fast is where you see for pleural effusion also. This is how you do it. Next. This is the normal anatomy. So you can see liver, the Morrison's pouch. Next. Uh, so this is the fluid in uh, Morrison's pouch. This is the left uh, upper quadrant examination. This is normal. Next. This is uh, how you find the fluid in the splenorenal pouch in the upper area. You can appreciate the black uh, area that is fluid. So this is fast in the pelvis examination. Urinary bladder. Now here you can appreciate and previous. Yes. Uterus fluid between the bladder and the uterus. So patient has bled in this pelvis. Next. So the last uh, is the intravascular cannulation where more and more people are using this in the ICU. This is how the artery and the vein looks like. So it is a short axis plane. So how do you differentiate between the two? So the vein has an oval contour without external um, uh, compression. Next, artery is more round. So when you apply a light compression, it will just uh, compress. It will just become like a slit. Next. So to conclude, uh, this uh, ultrasound, uh, you can best achieve with a combination of theoretical knowledge, direct supervision, and lots of practice. Thank you.